Here is Danny and today. So a company called Revel Point has sent me something fun. And it is called the Revel Point Range 3D Scanner. So that makes this a sponsored video. They are a company who make 3D scanners. Which lets you turn your real life objects into 3D models. Which you then can place into video game engines like Unreal Engine 5. Or even active video games like Battlefield with the help of some modding. Like here with this planter from Amsterdam inside the rubble of the cathedral in Rotterdam. You can use an app on Windows to scan objects. Either put the scanner on a standard and put the item you want on a turntable. Or walk around the item and scan it like that. Could be anything from a candle or a little statue from a Roman guy to something way bigger. If you own a power bank, for example, and a phone, you can also go outside to scan things, like giant faces in a park or planters like these. Which you then can bring into a video game engine again or onto Battlefield 5. If you want, you can even put your own face in the game, but I am not doing that yet. How it works, you will get a live view of what the camera is seeing and the point cloud itself of what you can also set the range of. So you don't scan the background for example that you don't want. If it all looks good you can start scanning but don't forget to cover everything with the camera. Because you don't want any holes in places they don't belong. Then it is just a case of processing it, letting the tools do the texture work and the UV mapping and it is ready to import in Unreal Engine or Blender. From which you can make it game ready, fix the LODs and export it to Battlefield for example. The Revel Point range is pretty good at scanning big things like humans, big concrete bricks, like these or other things. Also make sure to select the correct mode while scanning things with a lot of detail which could be done with the general mode. And if you got something with more dark things like a statue of Batman, you can use the dark mode. There is also an app included to edit the models to either remove unwanted things like an accidentally scanned base plate or to simplify the model itself to make it easier to run. Also other ways to clean it up a bit. But of course that is also possible in free software like Blender. If you are interested you can check out their Kickstarter which has already made a whopping 2 million euros. They've already had a few other successful Kickstarter campaigns though. Like I got a friend who is using the old pop model for actual asset creation for his shooter game of which he kindly sent in an old scan of a magazine that I could show off. But he did say he has improved his workflow already. So yeah if you are interested check out the links down below. But hey that is all I got for now. Subscribe for more. This was Danny and I see you on the battlefield.